all right so welcome back to another video uh, the reason why you're seeing Prince Siegfried right now as a uh, as a hero right now is I just want to talk about how good Prince Siegfried is in Rush Wars um, usually when she, when he gets to fire on defense it is so difficult to kill um, the rest of the defense because they counterattack first of all with the damage uh, received, and they also reduce the damage received by thirty five percent. So, but as a support, usually it wouldn't be so meta defining. Uh, it's, Prince Siegfried has not truly defined the current rush war meta. Uh, it is still difficult to get, especially since now they are not really focusing too much on the. Um, on this opera family um i think the latest ones i'm not even sure actually um i think they're more focused on the gargoyle uh return to gargoyle uh challenge event so you don't even see too much on the opera family and therefore it was quite difficult to get prince siegfried anyways but if you look at the top metas uh, the top alliances, those who are at the top of their metas, you're talking about Seven Days Departed, you're talking about Gypsy Danger, talking about Aggressive. Uh, you'll see a lot of Prince Siegfried over a hero like Ludwig, over heroes like uh, Milady the Winter, all of which are previous metas. In instead, now you're seeing heroes like Grimsteel, you're seeing heroes like Prince Siegfried, uh, you also see heroes like Scroll Beast. Uh, and Mistra. Well, we just got a whole new hero from the Clash of Knights event, and this is by far what I feel to be the most meta breaking hero for Rush Wars. Now, let me just go through the card. Uh, so, Bernadette is a fire uh, type hero, Druid class with the bear family so any defense status ailments received will be replaced so it doesn't even hit her it will just be automatically replaced by a 40 60 or 70 percent defense buff depending on uh how many heroes of this bear family that you have on defense or on offense um yeah which means you know any defense uh, ailments whether is it normal defense or, re or elemental defense will be replaced by a defense buff as well as recovers five percent health when they receive a buff or a positive stack. So if you have a, if you have heroes in the same defense or offense that provides buffs or, or positive stack, she can stay alive. Five percent health at two thousand eight hundred HP, uh, is, is quite significant. Now curse painting, very slow speed. So which is why I emphasize on rush wars. Dispels buffs from all enemies. Deals 250% damage to all enemies. All enemies turn into curse paintings for 5 turns. This effect can't be cleansed. Curse paintings have 70% attack, 70% defense, and the following special skill. Very fast speed, so 6 tiles. Deals 250% damage to the target. 60% chance of removing the curse painting ailment from the caster. So there's a 60% chance. Uh, and obviously, you know, uh, to make sure she's not too broken, you know, inverted commas, bosses, titans, and mythic titans are not affected by this effect. So that doesn't mean heroes are not affected. In wars, heroes will be affected by this. Now, why do I say this is meta-breaking? Imagine facing her at tank for rush wars. The slightest mistake of firing her, letting her fire, means even a taunt doesn't stop you from getting turned into curse paintings. Now, with the current meta for Rush Wars, revivers are out of the question. There, there are no longer any revivers on the on the on the wings. They're no, I mean Kalo is getting obsolete as well. And I'm talking about this from the competitive side first. Let's let's talk about let's talk about high end competitive side. So you're not seeing any revivers, you're not seeing Kalo. Instead, what you're seeing is usually heroes like Mistra that hits all, very painfully, I might add. Scroll Beast that hits significantly hard and reduces your attack uh, by withering as well. You also get heroes like 
uh, Prince Siegfried, as we just seen, which will make it impossible to kill the defense. Grimsteel, which heals a lot and just grows your team based on the growth that he that he provides. Uh, and then you also get a smattering of like other slow heroes. You know, you're looking at um, heroes like Grilkar, heroes like um, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure when the costume Khufu comes out, that might be even something that people would consider. What happens then if you put Bernadette at tank? Okay, Bernad Bernadette at tank. And she fires off. And immediately after that, you fire either Mistra or Scroll Beast. At 70% attack and 70% defense, your heroes are going to hurt a lot. And bear in mind, when you... When they get turned into curse paintings, this effect can't be cleansed, which means you can't even, uh, you know, you can't even cleanse this. Even if, even though you get to charge your your cleanser and your cleanser gets to to to, to heal this off, you can't do that. And as I was saying about how the the meta defenses are shaping up, you you kind of want to bring defensive heroes when you're kind of when you're trying to go against them, but because of how resilient the defenses are, it is quite it. It's literally quite impossible for you to bring heroes, uh, defensive heroes, and then hope to just wipe out the, the defense in just maybe one or two attackers. You probably need a, a bit more. And Bernadette makes, basically tells you that, you know, if you put her at tank, if you're facing 30 Bernadettes, Bernadettes on defense, the best I can think of right now, and, and this is only a couple of hours after she's released, right? It's about four hours right now that she's released. The only counter that I think of, I can think of, the only countermeasure, uh, a re not even reactive, a proactive countermeasure that I can think of is Aramis. And Aramis, let me just, let me just give you a, a feeling of how Aramis stacks up against Bernadette. So I have an Aramis, so look at this. Bernadette right now at 25, uh... Double limit broken at 25 emblems is 1,457 attack, 1,433 health, and 2,845 health. Let me show you what Aramis is right now. I have an Aramis at double limit broken. 1,198 attack, 998 shield, and 1,888 health. Aramis is going to get smacked to pieces if you can't fire him before Bernadette fires. And if you even if you try to hit the flanks, for example, where they have Mistra or Scroll Beast or whatever, uh, he's gonna get destroyed. I mean that health is not gonna keep him alive. You literally have to put like plus twenty five and I'm not even sure whether that would keep him alive at all. So the reason why I say Aramis, you can count it's a countermeasure, is because his immune to new status ailments is undispellable, and I do believe he's the only one that can that is that has this undispellable effect. Uh, heroes like Hathor, heroes like Talasa, heroes like Garnet, because Bernadette says dispels buffs first, that ailment block is going to get dispelled first. So the only way you're gonna you know, stop your whole team from getting, you know, decimated is by having a taunt. First of all, you need a taunt to fire and then you need Hathor or Talasa or Garnet to have the ailment block to make sure only your taunt gets turned into a curse painting. Do you understand how disgusting that is? Can you imagine? I, I'm pretty sure not many players would have considered, you know, leveling six Aramises for Rush Wars. I mean, it's pretty difficult to even consider the possibility of having six Aramis. But can you imagine how difficult is it to face six Bernadette tanks for your six war flags? It's going to be so difficult. Like, sure, autotons, you can bring autotons, that's fine. But, in, but bear in mind... Auto taunts or taunts without an ailment block will still result in all your heroes getting turned into curse paintings once Bernadette fires. I think maybe monks, super monks, super talent monks might be able to resist. But that's about it. 
And I think the only other countermeasure I can think of right now is uh, if you look at Grilka. So Grilka, if there are eight or more holy shields on the board, then all effects cast in this special skill are undispellable. So if she gets a taunt that makes her undispellable, that means that she will be the only one that turns into a curse painting, provided that the taunt is undispellable. So I'm just gonna put it I'm just gonna put it out in the limb here and say that Bernadette right now, if you're playing in the top flight meta, uh, top flight alliances, if you're in Seven Days Departed, if you're in Gypsy Danger, if you're in Aggressive, if you're in some form of alliance that is currently vying to be the top alliance in the game, in Rushmore's, Bernadette is a must-have. I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm almost 100% sure there will be no other tank that will beat Bernadette right now. In fact, if if you have, like, for example, if you have all the Nisras and Kvises in the world, I'm pretty sure you can even get, like, you know, if you can get six Bernadettes, for example, your Rush War teams are, are done. You just need Bernadette. A, a, a standard dispeller, you know, just to make sure that you can dispel... Um, uh, taunts if necessary so that you can you know uh, stop uh, stop any shenanigans from happening you can just or you can just use Bernadette because she dispels as well and you just need a hit all a hero that just hits all and it's a one two it's a one two kill Bernadette is disgusting now obviously I'm going to put this this is a caveat this has only been four hours since Bernadette has been out I'm putting this on a gamble that Bernadette will be the highest top range meta breaking hero uh, for Rush Wars. But there also might be a chance that she will be nerfed because I really don't believe this, this effect will stay like this for now. I mean, sure, 70% defense and 70% attack, if you think about it, in terms of legendary troops, it might not be as low as you think. But still, can you imagine having all your heroes, especially you know when you're against a high-paced level of match, like going against Baron Dead at tank, Prince Siegfried at flank, Mistra, Skrull Beast, and maybe costume the, the, the new Toon Justice to round up the defense. Can you imagine how difficult is it to fight against that defense? And the moment you try to wait out these five turns, for all you know, Bernadette might be might be firing up again. So I'm gonna put it right here right now. Even for mid tier or sub one hundred alliances, mid tier alliances, low tier alliances, wherever you are, the moment you have one Bernadette, I'm willing to bet anything that she will be the most difficult defense to kill at tank, even at wing. Because if you think about it, if you put Bernadette at wing, at the left wing, and you have Kalo at the right wing, and you have you know a smattering of other heroes, it doesn't matter what the other three heroes are, as long as one of them hits all. And Kalo is the only one that survives? And you, f and you can't kill Kalo, and he fires? Uh, that's not going to look good for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna put this. This again, I'm gonna just emphasize. I, I'm I'm actually honestly very surprised that SG came up with this kind of hero because this is disgusting. This will make Rush Wars even more difficult to play right now compared to Equalizer Wars, uh, and even against the current meta of Grim Steel tanks, Mistra Mistra wings. Yeah, Bernadette is gonna be disgustingly stupid in fact the only way i can see you dealing with bernadette is like you can can you imagine like your 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 hit your, the team that you bring will have to be two supports maybe something like nylora you know the super elemental hero that can deal a lot of no you can't even use nylora because nylora gives elemental defense down and bernadette doesn't get affected by that so yeah, how how are we supposed to deal with this? I 
So look, uh, it's minion horde war for now, so we're not going to see rush wars for at least uh, another six more wars. Is it six? There's going to be arrows, then equalizer, then attack boost. So uh, two, two, two. So three weeks from now. Uh, my alliance is currently right now in the top 20, top 30. We are top 20, top 30, and I don't foresee us pushing any further than that. I'll be waiting to see if there's a Bernadette, if there's Bernadette tanks running around, if you're facing, you know, a pure alliance. And it's going to be so difficult to deal with. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not going to like what I see. So... I'm just gonna put it put it out here. Spend wisely. Don't overspend. This game is looking like it's going to end in a year or so. So I wouldn't chase too hard for a hero like this, knowing that there is a potential for nerf. But what I can say now, if you have this hero and you're using it in rush wars, you probably have the best tank or the best flank or the best wing in the game right now for Rush Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next video. GG.